Hello. Happy full moon, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Happy upside down full moon to me. <laughs> no, I think today for me is the full moon, I think. Oh, yes. Maybe. Yeah, but the Sash told me that the moon is upside down in Australia. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Google it. I Googled it once and I think I think she was, I mean, I believed her. <laughs> Do What's a right side up of a circle? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to Google it. Um, here, introduce yourself. Hi, I am Vish. <laughs> From Books with Me. Hello. Um, glad to be here. And uh, I read fantasy, fantasy romance. Mostly fantasy romance, to be fair. But uh, mostly also fantasy. Thing. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely associate you with fantasy. Cool. Um, the moon does look upside down in the southern hemisphere compared to the northern hemisphere. This is simply a matter of orientation. Is it like when the water moves different here? Is that the same thing? Probably. Maybe that's why the moon's upside down. So the waters move different. That's so crazy. Like, like yeah. rivers and oceans and stuff? move to no because like isn't isn't like when you when you turn on like a tap and the water moves differently down a sink or like when you flush a toilet it moves counterclockwise or something like that compared to the other hemisphere and i'm just like it's the moon then because if it's upside down and moon controls everything oh my god it's... yeah including my book club <laughs> it's like she has no idea that she just controls a part of my life but whatever what is my sleep too so i hate it <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, like I sleep, like, yeah. Because when it's full moon and new moon, I can't sleep properly. Like I have erratic dreams. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I guess I don't really pay attention. I mean, I probably should. <laughs> I only pay attention to the full moon. I'm a fraud. So, I mean, I do have like more crazy dreams than usual. Um, at certain points, but I don't know if it's consistent. That's wild. I'm going to yeah, start. Yeah. Full moon is like when the atmosphere or the vibe is like really charged. So that's when all the crazies come out. Right. And so including like werewolves, I guess. That's yes. why it's associated with full moon. But yeah, it's very weird. My sleep during that time. So we'll see what happens tonight, shall we? Aww. I did have a weird dream this morning. So hmm. anyway, hello, everyone. Where we we read this and we yes. both procrastinated and finished today. <laughs> well, last night for me, but same thing. Okay. Same yeah, thing. today for me. Yeah, yep. same thing. <laughs> and Vish also kindly joined during her um, lunch break. Yes, what a That's trooper! Right. The dedication. You have a full hour, or yeah, yeah, I have a full okay. hour. But it's fine. It's chillax. There's no one here to monitor me, guys. Just don't tell on me. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. Got it. Um, all right, everyone. With, <clears throat> let me know your surface level thoughts. You know how this goes. Your ratings. Let me know. Let me know. Just say. What is your rating? I'm curious. Um, because I know you usually don't read like at least the volume of fantasy that I do. So I'm interested no. to see what you think. Yeah. So I usually read YA fantasy because just because my brain is just not capable for most adult fantasies, like complex world building and epic fantasy. Like, yeah, that's not me. I mean, I I aspire, but not yet. Um, but I do enjoy fantasy, and I actually the most. So I keep track of my genres this year, mm -hmm. and the most has been horror and fantasy. So that's good. Um, but I gave it a four. Ooh, same. Okay, okay. I gave it a four too, because I was teetering between three point five and four. Three point five. Mm. Just because of um. Okay, surface level thoughts is that I I've read her other trilogy before, which I prefer more nice. than this. Really? Okay. Um, just because her world building and her magic is always great, especially in the first trilogy, and with this one, I feel like that's what she's trying to do she's trying to focus so much on the world building and the magic system that she's kind of neglected her characters a little bit in this one yeah mm. i feel like that was my problem 
So I, but I'm still sticking with a four, I think, because I really like her writing and the world building it was really good. Yeah, I own Crown of Feathers. Um, so I do plan on trying that out too, because I did also like her writing. Um, but I don't know. I have a feeling I'd like this more because it's like darker. But the Crown of Feathers is also pretty dark. Oh, it sure. is? Okay, yeah. just based on the cover, it doesn't look like it. So how do you feel about sibling relationships? Because I know some people don't like it. Um, well, I am an only child, so I usually like they don't do anything much for me usually. Yeah. But it's, um it's not like lovey dovey, it's like rivals. Okay. So maybe that'll interest you more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can get behind that. Um but I just thought this was pretty predictable, to be honest. Like, I made, I mean, we'll go into spoilers later, obviously, but I made two predict, like, correct predictions out of the what, like, I feel like there were maybe, like, three or four big twists or reveals or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I've guessed, I guess two of them. Um, and then one of them... <laughs> I'll clarify later, but I mistakenly, I like got these two characters mixed up in my vlog and then it turned out to be true. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, why does it sound like something from a sci-fi? Oh, the, like the water moving? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I've never heard that before. I've heard it in like just passing of other people saying it. I was like, really? I, I, obviously I won't know because I haven't seen the water over there. So I don't know. <laughs> Wait, so is yours... I guess I never paid attention to my. To I don't my know. Water. I haven't paid attention to my water either. <laughs> I know. Let's let's circle back after you got to message me. Let's both flush our toilets after this <laughs> intro and let me know. Let's record it and send it to each other. Just record our toilet. <laughs> Great. I mean, nothing has to be in it. Like you just like waste a flush. It'll be fine. <laughs> Moon controls, high tides, low tides. You know what? What this reminds me. I need to read Curious Tides. Still, have you read that one? It's like very um, moon. Because I, I always get mixed up with a, a different book as well that has to do with moons. And I DNF that one. But oh, I think this one is a newer release. Yeah, Curious oh, Tides is The Dark Academia, Someone Drowned, oh, Lunar Magic. No, I haven't read this one. This one sounds good. What was the other one? I can't remember. That one I DNF'd. It's not mm. good. Yeah, I'm curious about Curious Tides. Oh. I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> I'm curious about Curious Tides. I hate myself. I'm not sure how long it takes my daughter's. Oh, happy birthday. But wanted to pop in to say hi. Hello, Birdie. Thanks for coming. Let me get my sage. Bree. Bree has been itching for this live show all day. She just finished it today, too, on her sprints earlier. Um, she's even more fresh in your mind. Yeah. Um, this wasn't even as close as it gets. I finished it at, like, 6 a.m., um the close i've said this before but the closest i got to the live show was four minutes <laughs> i don't think i have done that i think maybe like maybe like six hours before oh wow that's like my max i can't do less than that <laughs> yeah because like for that one i think i like thought about dnfing and then i was like no i gotta do it um <laughs> But yes, hopefully you have time to eat. Uh, no, it's fine. Like I had a late breakfast, bagel, cream cheese, always really good. That is it's good. Fine. That is good. really good. Um, uh, my friend Sharni, she's also Australian, and she didn't even know what a bagel was. And then Sash mentioned here. <laughs> what you have bagels there? Yeah, because I said like one of my videos when Joey first got into his bagel phase, I was like. In honor of that, like, let's put a bagel emoji. And then Sharni was like, I had to Google what that means. And I'm like, oh, is it just not an Australian thing? Okay. And then Sash mentioned it in the Discord earlier. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Use bagels. Interesting. I wonder if it's like like all regions, do you think? I don't know. Okay. But I just got it from a supermarket. <laughs> we also have everything bagels as well, which I used to get. But I was like, mm, I just like my plain bagel with cream cheese. I like plain bagels with strawberry cream cheese. I love how we're talking about bagels right now. Um, I do partial stars as well, so it means a low four. Yeah, I I think low four too, just because, yeah, some of the characters I didn't, like Leo didn't do anything for me. And that's the thing. For That's the thing with Nikki Pop Rider with this. She just neglected 
the characters. Like she just told us what they're feeling instead of showing us, which is definitely disappointing, at least compared to what I read with a trilogy, because that trilogy is really, really good. Like one of my favorite series. Oh. Just really good. I didn't rate it five stars or anything, but it was still like a solid YA fantasy trilogy that I really love with great animal companions because of the Phoenix. Oh, right. Phoenix is, yeah, is very good. Um, yeah, I think we got like, like I remember one chapter from Julian's POV that said like that you really got, you know, in his feels. But other than that, I was like, "Wait, are you have, do you watch Marvel movies?" Um, Spider Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, for all the Marvel girlies in the chat, when okay with Julian, does he not give you Winter Soldier vibes? I'm just saying, with his arm, and I won't yes. spoil anything just yet. But Julian is. Oh my God! I have the regular edition. Do you have the fairy loot one? Yes, he is. Done and he's got the Cole Sprouse hair. Oh my god, that is really giving Winter Soldier vibes. Please, with the iron hand. With the iron hands. When he just took off that glove, I was like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> is it me? No, why was, was that such why was that like such a I don't know, like okay, Elsa <laughs> with your gloves? Like, <laughs> like why did you take the entire book to take the glove off? Like um, read it last from Woman Ruth on 4.5 stars via audio. Yeah, the audiobook was good. Thank you, okay. Destiny. If you ever tune into this, I don't know if you're here right now, but Do you have Spotify? Mm -mm, I use Pandora because <laughs> I was like the audiobooks on Spotify. Oh, damn. I wish I knew that. I could have just used Joey's, but Destiny came through with her um, Everand account. So thank you. That was much needed. Gave it four stars, probably 3.75, rounded up. Really enjoyed it. I'm so glad this is like universally enjoyed because the last two were like, well, the first one, January. <laughs> January was a struggle for everybody. February was like 50-50. And then this is, this seems good. This seems good. Good pick, right. everybody. Oh, wow. Thoroughly nice. pretty good, but I thought the character development was pretty good. Yeah, that, that was good. Like, her growth at the end. Oh my god, the last line. <laughs> the that last is. page about okay, minor spoilers, but like she what was it? She is she didn't need those weapons. She was the blade or whatever. I was like, oh yes, oh queen god, yeah. shit. Yeah. Crazy. <clears throat> enjoyed it actually. It's not groundbreaking plot wise, but I enjoyed the world building. I did too. I actually I actually understood it. So that's all that matters. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you because I felt like she was just info dumping the first hundred pages. Mm. And I was like, this is a lot for someone who, let's say someone who hasn't really read fantasy. I feel like this is a lot for someone to absorb. Um, There were a few things like it took me a while to get like the Valkers versus Reapers um, straight. But then also like the what were they called the regents i think i was like what is happening the lord smiths versus the regents i still don't really <laughs> have it together but yeah there were a lot of parts where i just like okay we're <laughs> like it'll get explained <laughs> but i mean that's just me with every fantasy a low five okay yeah. i'm glad you loved it though um interfered with the action scenes like she yeah. would launch into a world building mini dump it enduring scenes which makes it lose the excitement hmm i guess i didn't really notice but yeah i could see that because i tried to take notes and then i'm like <sighs> i mean okay i did love like the tears of the ghosts mm. like at first i thought i was gonna get confused but it was like repeated mm -hmm. enough where i got it got it down um i'm trying to look at my notes mm -mm. oh no didn't read the book, but I'm here. Oh, hi. Thanks for coming. Could have been more interesting, especially since he's not a warrior and more of a schemer. Yeah. Uh, I mean, did we like that he had a POV? I did because like, 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 um, like she said, because he has a very interesting POV because he's not a warrior or anything like that. He just used his noggin. <clears throat> it was interesting to see his thought process, but it was just so little. <laughs> he just... 
I don't know why I keep referring to Frozen, but he just reminded me of like, of like that prince in that, was it, is it Frozen? I don't know. He just, he just made me think of like some clumsy, like lanky prince. I don't know how I was envisioning him, but he just like didn't have it together. I don't know. But then it, um, Princess and the Frog, Prince Navi, Navid, I think his name is. Princess and the Frog, Prince Naveen. No, Naveen. Oh, I've only seen this once, but no, less less attractive, less <laughs> chiseled, like more lanky, skinny, like because he. The first scene we got with Leo was the window one where he was like drunk, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so uh, I don't know. Did we meet him before? Oh, I don't know. That's the first scene. <laughs> oh, we met him at like a dinner banquet thing. And then he came in through the window. Mm. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, I don't know what to do anymore for me to remember <laughs> shit more. Because... <laughs> Like literally six a.m. today, and I still forget shit. So it's fine. It happens. I barely remember the characters' names. <laughs> Hoping Ghostsmith will give him more development. Yeah, and honestly, the fact that we knew the sequel's title was very much like yeah, kind of spoil not spoil yeah spoilery. Spoiler. Like, made it's, it yeah, like it goes in with the predictability part. Mm -hmm. I think. Like, and I feel like because it's only a duology, I highly doubt it. At least, <laughs> <laughs> I it's only a duology. Well, no, I didn't forget. That's a lie. I'm glad it's only a duology. That'll feel like an accomplishment when I finish this duology because I will continue. Just yeah, she could have been more creative with these names, with these titles. Yeah. Um, he does this. She totally does. To what? Oh, the Winter Soldier thing. Yeah. Thank you. I feel validated. Okay. <laughs> to Google now. What do I do, Winter Soldier? Oh, okay. I see a man with a metal arm. Um, that's it for me. <laughs> oh, wow, that's like spot on to the fan art. That's wild. Yep. He mostly definitely does. January was our. Yeah. We read what was <laughs> book? We read The Invisible Hour by Alice Hoffman. Yeah. Don't. I, I don't recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you really like Nathaniel Hawthorne. Unless you have, like, an obsession. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. The author of The Scarlet Letter. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I just like Easy A, to be fair. That's the only retail <laughs> I like. <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely not enough to like this book. Um, I liked Ren. I think she's the only fully developed character. I agree on that one, yeah. Yeah. I think I mean, like, character relationships <laughs> instead of character development. Mm. I feel like the character relationships were told instead of shown because i think i remember sp one specific paragraph where she, um the author was just saying like how um julian is perceived instead of actually showing that mm. just a whole paragraph of that i'm like why just give me more of character interactions then we can figure it out ourselves <laughs> yes i love that line yeah the blade one gave it four stars Yes, Brie, I found the bickering in the beginning annoying. It was predictable at times. Yes, it was. I need I need to know what y'all predicted. We can go into spoilers. I'm ready. Um, let me know if y'all predicted something correctly and what it was, whatever. Really enjoyed it and can't wait for the sequel. Five stars for me. Yeah, it comes out in August. Yes, August. I can't wait, actually. Even though, yes, it was predictable, it's just something about it. You know, I just want to I want to know more and how it ends. Yeah, there were some creepy parts, like that one girl, that one little girl. I mean, oh, little no. girls creep me out in general, but like, <laughs> but like the way, I, I mean, you probably know this, but I don't visualize things easily. But like that, I visualize, like she like, there. it was like described as she tilted her head and then it was like in an uncomfortably innocent manner or something like that. And I was like, oh God, I could picture, and then she pointed into the trees. <laughs> That was children so just freak me out in horror movies or just anything to do with horror children freak me out truly especially when they like sing and giggle no thank you go do that in your own time <laughs> please <laughs> remember like such a badass i also loved the ghost smith and bone smith aspects yeah i mean just from the cover she's a badass like come on 
Um, she needs to learn how to put eyeliner on a little bit better, but that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. We'll work on it. Like, let's just smear it. <laughs> Smoky <laughs> eye tutorial. <laughs> Interesting, which I found that the world building was integrated well into the plot. I'm the type of person who enjoys not understanding things at the beginning and let things unfold. I'm too impatient. And then I get scared that it's never going to come and it's just me being stupid. So like, I just panic. Yeah. <laughs> if an author does a good job, you'll understand it in some way afterwards. Yeah. Just I mean, job. I'm also one to push through. So like, so like I never really DNF if I'm not understanding but I do get frustrated and I just feel stupid <laughs> the ghost who's gave me that's what I okay I put Vespertine yeah. and I Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker is what this okay. one reminds me of have you read that one that one's really good I haven't read Keeper of Night but I have read Vespertine <clears throat> and I, I do agree with the yeah because they use the word revenant in here as well exactly but also just like I don't know the vibes the moody melancholy dark vibes i also mm -hmm. gave that one a three though but keeper of night was a five for me and oh, that wow. one i was also able to visualize a lot so when an author can make me do that i'm here for it did anyone think it was actually like gideon the ninth i think wasn't it pitched as gideon the ninth meets like something game of thrones or something oh did yeah I, did i just make that up yeah it says gideon the ninth meets game of thrones Okay, cool. Wow. Game of Thrones White Walkers, which I also kind of agree because of the whole wall thing. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't consumed either of those things, but I don't know about Gideon the Ninth, but for sure Game of Thrones. White Gideon Walker. The... I'm so scared of Gideon the Ninth. That seems too complex for my brain. Me too, to be fair. I feel scared about that. <laughs> really? I feel yeah, like because everyone everyone says it's so confusing, and I was like, "Oh, great! I'm gonna feel stupid." <laughs> but you have you're so like you're so in practice, <laughs> like you have so much practice. <laughs> so I can still every time I actually actually every time I pick up a new fantasy book, I'm like, "Okay, is this today that I'm gonna feel stupid?" <laughs> I have that fear every time I pick up a new fantasy book, so it never goes away. <laughs> <laughs> I think that set up my expectations the wrong way. Darn, I hate that. I hate that. When it's like the perfect pitch marketing yeah. line and then it disappoints. That's unfortunate. I think Leo is going to show up more in the next book. Like he is the outsider looking in. Yes. Possibly. Yeah. Maybe. Probably. I want to know his purpose, you know, instead of just being third wheel. Yeah, like at first I was confused because like why... It took me a while to real. I mean, I still kind of don't know really why they <laughs> wanted to rescue him in the first place. Did I write it down? I don't even it's know. to do with bargaining and like feeling oh, it was, bad. It was to prove her worth, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then, but what was um, Julian's purpose? Um, to use it like leverage for his uncle. Oh, yes. That makes sense. Nope, the dinner one. Mm. I, I'm not surprised that I'm wrong. I don't think it was like Gideon the Ninth at all. I guess there was necromancy, but that is it. Okay. Oh, it that's usually all it takes to make a marketing line nowadays, honestly. Just one element and then it's automatically. <clears throat> um, I haven't read Gideon before Water. It really doesn't sound like it. Compares was meant to okay. be surface level. Yep, tends to happen in publishing nowadays, mostly for the necromancy and intense world building. I don't know about intense for this one. Because, like, if, if I could understand. It's, it's it's a lot for a YA, I'll say. But that's you think so? It. Okay. Just because it was just put it all into it in the beginning. Mm. Fair. Okay. Maybe I was just more engaged because it was it involved ghosts <laughs> <laughs> and like horror stuff. Also liked how it seemed like the Julian Julian fell first. I feel like we will get more Julian and Ren relationship development. But when Ren went back for him, oh my goodness! Wait, when Ren went back, so when Julian went back for her, I love that. Yeah, that was good. I was like, what is this man doing? I know. And then we got his POV. That was like one of my favorite chapters when he was yeah. like. He was like, Ren is everything wrong, but also yeah. everything right. And he was like, I don't know why I went back for her, but 
yeah, that was scary. It was chapter 22. That was stressful. When she was, like, falling off the bridge and shit. Yeah, that was scary. <clears throat> to be honest, the action scenes, like, when they were faced with a bunch of ghosts and they were just, like, fighting them, I kind of zoned out. I don't like fight scenes in books. Oh, that's fair. So, like, it takes a lot for me to like a fight scene. Even in movies. Really? Yeah, really the only fight scene that, like, is, like, my top fight scene is the one in Shang-Chi. The bus scene ah, in Shang-Chi. Yes. Love that movie. <laughs> yes. I love Simu Lu with my entire soul. Same. He can do no wrong. Like, he does everything. Have you read his memoir? Yeah, I was literally about to ask you. <laughs> I read it last year. Five stars. So good. Me too. Yep. Relatable. Um, <laughs> yes. Relatable. Yes. <laughs> the Asian parental standards. And yep. yeah. Just, I can't believe he literally does everything. Like, he sings. He acts, he's an advocate, he has organizations. Anyway, moving on. Back to Bonesmith. Because the Goodreads comp was getting... An, oh, yes. I only predicted her being a ghostsmith and Locke being the dad. Oh, spoilers! Sorry, spoiler warning! Bye! If you <laughs> didn't read this book, Leo you know he was going to be kidnapped and no idea. God, I suck at this. Um, the dad behind her failure at the trial, I was shocked. The dad being behind the failure. Cause you know how um she made a deal with Inara mm -hmm. to like use her blade. Yeah, so her dad is the one that made Inara do this. Okay, I missed that part. <laughs> I missed that part. But I predicted her being a ghostsmith and mm -hmm. the corpse queen being her mom. Yep. And then the thing that I got mixed up with was that in my vlog I was like, wait, did Odile just say her father? As in it's Ren's father I thought Vance was her father but Locke is her father and then I was like wait I read that wrong because it was true so that's not what she said I don't know but yeah there was also a moment where I thought Odile was her mom but I at, at one point I thought Odile was the corpse queen but I was like doesn't make sense yeah yeah I was I don't know I could not unsee the corpse bride though as corpse yeah same <laughs> same especially because i so oh i told you that i was going along with the fairy loot read along yep and jody wrote it fun fact everybody um jody from vanilla moon so if you're interested in reading all that um but fairy loot puts like little gifts and jody kept using corpse bride and i was <laughs> like how am i gonna unsee this now um leo knowing he was gonna be kidnapped no idea yeah, no. I didn't. I was surprised that he knew that he was going to get kidnapped. Yeah. I was just kind of along with it. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, oh, this, this, this boy has some brains on him. <laughs> <laughs> and he knew it was Galen, right? Mm. Yeah. He just didn't know who paid Galen, which was yeah. Locke. Which was um, Ren's dad. Vance. 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 Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Leo just decides he was like, let me like, don't you have anything better to do than just like allow yourself to be kidnapped? Like you're a whole ass prince. That's why I was confused. I was like, you're just gonna allow it. Okay. I think because he's viewed as like the spare prince, he doesn't really value his life that much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Yep. I love when fantasy toes the horror line. Me too. I love fantasy horror. I would recommend Help of Midnight uh, by Marina J. Lostetter. That's a good fantasy horror one an adult fantasy horror um, but it's still really good because it involves me, a serial killer let me stop typing <laughs> um at least try it because you never know okay the hell because it involves a serial killer <gasps> okay my interest has been and it's published by tor tor books yep. usually hit for me yes Ooh, Same. i've never heard of this what is this cover oh it's like a knight with like horns okay it's to do right. with like masks. Um, if you wear the mask, you can use the magic that was imbued in the mask. Okay. How long is this book? 400. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I saw it. It's under 500, right? That's doable. Um, okay. Okay. Do, have you read? Um, I guess this is more horror fantasy. No. Was it I don't Brown? Know. Huh? Was it Brom? Like his works? No, no, no. Um, the Salt Grows Heavy by mm -hmm. Cassandra Ka. It's a novella. But... Cassandra Ka. I've read the other one. What was it? Nothing Something Black. Teeth. Yeah. 
Yeah, I did not like that one. <laughs> no, no one liked that one. Don't worry. But the salt grows heavy. I gave five stars. So it, it's don't ask me what happens. Don't ask me if she's I she's a Malaysian writer. Mm -hmm. I'm Malaysian. That's cool. Well, I didn't know she was Malaysian, but I knew she was BIPOC. <laughs> um, OK. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see your salt grows heavy thoughts because the writing is very like intricate like she mm -hmm. definitely still has that like I have a thesaurus next to me situation <laughs> while I'm writing but yeah. I think she did it better this time I don't know okay but I don't understand what happened I just like the writing it was pretty and it had a lot of commentary on like feminism I think if I remember I just knew who was a prince and the little boy slash her wait wait are you discovering this right now? Hold on. Wait, the wait, what do you are these two separate things? He was a um you mean like Leo was a prince? Yeah. And the little so boy is oh. the twin. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought Brie meant that somehow Leo was the twin. Oh no. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, yes, yes, yes. You guessed the little boy was her twin? I guessed everything. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I got it right. Oh. I, I, it definitely is predictable, but I still enjoyed it a lot. That's saying something. That's saying a lot. I, yeah, I mean, the little boy having the ring and everything was just holding your hand and giving it away. But like, I guess I didn't really think. Yeah, because he's like, I'm the big one. You're the small one. I'm like, oh, they must be siblings. siblings. <laughs> But like it and didn't say a name, right? For the little boy. Um, no, they didn't. But I was like, what's a big bird? Eagle? <laughs> what's a big bird? <laughs> True. Oh, yes. Because of the name thing. That was yeah. another thing that hasn't been explained yet, right? The name. Or has it? Um, why she's named Ren? Yeah. Cause I think um I remember her saying it's something to do with ghost smiths and liking to name their children bird names i think oh okay because i remember there was a part where it was like why are you a bonesmith and named that weird name? Right. yeah and then um i think she said for bonesmiths they like to name animal names but specifically for ghostsmiths they like to name bird names so mm. i hope that's explained in the second book um Oh, I actually have questions that I want answered, but I don't know. If it'll I be probably answered. won't be able to answer them, but everyone in the chat can. <laughs> no, I meant maybe in the second book might be answered. Oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Like, what magic is in the well? Because that was never explained. And what type of magic it is. It just said evil magic or like mm -hmm. enormous amount of magic in the well, but it didn't say what kind. Okay. And then why did the corpse queen, I think her name was Ravina, mm -hmm. why did she give powers to Locke to use to kill everyone? What's the purpose of that? Dun, dun, dun. But also it kind of like correlates to what magic is it in the well. It just says raw magic. Mm -hmm. And then what's the corpse queen planning? World domination? As she should. <laughs> but like, what is, what is it? <laughs> What's the end game here? Interesting. Okay. Um, okay. Julian Winter Soldier. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, also, because there was a lot of explaining of how there's different smiths, like um, stone smiths, gold smiths, silver smiths, and all the other ones that have, I was going to say expired. That's not right. <laughs> 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 Maybe we can see them in like a little showdown to kind of like save everyone because that'll be fun. Ooh. There's one that like grows trees. Cause that would be fun if it's um if it happens. Ooh. Those are my questions. Like like green smith, seed smith. No, that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> seed smith. I hate it. I can't. I read too much smut to, to take that seriously. Seed smith. <laughs> Definitely predicted Ren is Locke's daughter very early on, and that Vance is working with Iron Citadel. Ghostsmith too, I predicted, but it was also close to reveal, so I don't count that. Wait, oh, like you predicting? Yeah, no, I, 
I predicted the ghost Smith thing pretty early. I was impressed with myself. Not going to lie. Um, I can't remember the line that triggered it. I have it in my vlog. But um, I was just like, wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> the Batman and Robert Pattinson smoking. Yep. That's it. That's right. That's it. Nailed it. Put it in a headline. Um, what was a surprise for me was Leo knowing he was going to be kidnapped. Same. I was just rolling with it. I was trying not to predict, but then when I realized how predictable it is, then it just like naturally. But yeah, so that I was just like not paying attention really because I didn't like Leo. I didn't care. But I guess I'm going to have to care about Leo. <laughs> <laughs> also, the course about being her mom, I figured out when they first talked about I'm her. Sorry. I don't say I freaking love the revenants or whatever. Um, I remember there was one line where it was like, oh, when they, when the first time they mentioned like, oh, she doesn't even know who her mom is or whatever. Then that's when I was like, who could it be? Uh, there was also another line um, when she is talking to Ren, where it's like, light calls to light, blood calls to blood. And I was like, oh, that's her mom then. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You are Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones for sure, especially with a political intrigue. Give us polyamory. Everyone in the Discord was in the <laughs> was saying this. <clears throat> Leo seems like he could swing both ways. To be fair, <laughs> yeah, I could see it. But also, yeah, I don't know. I hope I get more attached to him if he's more prominent because I don't know. I think you'll be fine, Vish. You might have to reread some parts, but after like a hundred pages, you will get the hang of it. Of what? What were we talking about? Oh, um, Gideon the Ninth, I think. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. Crossing all my fingers that it's Polly in the next one. Seriously, everyone wants if Julian was using Leo as a bargaining chip with his group. Seriously. Like, to figure oh. out why he was being assassinated. Gotcha. Don't read Mistborn then. Oh, fuck me. You know what I'm scared of, yeah, too? No. No, I, I mean, to be fair, I got it for like $7, but I got the floppy edition for $7. I was, it was a steal, but I mean, I'll, tr I'll try it. Try, but it's very slow. It's, I feel like it might be dry and there's a lot of action scenes. It's basically an action movie. So I don't know if you'd like it. Yeah. I mean, I gave, Tre Tress was the only one I read from Brando Sando and I gave it a three, so. I'm scared, but I'm also scared to read the Poppy War. No, I think you'll be fine with that with the Poppy War. To be fair, yeah, at least the first book. Um, it's definitely dark because of um, like sexual assault and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but I think you'll be fine with Poppy War. Okay, that makes me feel better because it's on my 24 for 2024. <laughs> I um I'm actually I re I just reread Poppy War to continue on with the series so I'm on the Dragon Republic but I put it down for a bit because the library wanted it back. Oh how rude! rude. Yeah, know. seriously, inconsiderate to your well being. <laughs> I felt like it was really cinematic. Um, to be fair though, <laughs> I always just override because I work at a library. I just override <laughs> two dates. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I felt like it was really cinematic and it could translate really well to a TV or it movie. It could, yeah. I could see it. Yeah. I could see it. Um, Vance. Yeah, she didn't. Oh, yeah. About Leo not having a life. Yes. Everyone's just... I'm just behind. Swear Ryan went back for Julian, but now I can't find it. Yeah, he, um, when the they end, put him in the prison, yeah, when he they put him in the dungeon or whatever, Ren went back for him. Yeah, so that was towards the end, but yeah, I liked the Julian going back for Ren better. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, this boy don't quit. <laughs> but that then was, she was like, "What? How did you get here?" And he's like, "Oh, I took this easy way." And like, <laughs> I'm just a monkey man. I'm scaling all the rocks. Oh, <laughs> uh, when Julian found out what his uncle was doing in the end. See, I was just rushing at that point, to be honest. Um, yeah, there was I, a lot of, like, monologues for reveals after that point. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, but, yeah, I was just, I just, one, wanted it to be over in time for the live show. And, two, just, like, I was trying to get to the big reveal. So everything else was, like, kind of foggy. 
I also I would also highly recommend Silver. Ooh, yes. I have this on my 24 for 2024 too. I started this in September of two years ago. <laughs> Cause I remember I started it. I got like an like Jayla sent it to me because she works. I think with I her. remember that blog. Do you really? <laughs> Jayla sent me the early cop or like a finished copy because she lives she works for the publisher. And I was like, I'm going to read it right away and tell you all my thoughts. Thank you so much. And then I read like 26 pages from my first Patreon readathon. And then I never picked it up. But it was good. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think I have the, um, it was one of the books for Goldsboro. So I think I have it in a box somewhere. Oh, I, really I need to see the Goldsboro one. It's like a, what, what is it called? Lavender? Like a dusky pink cover? <gasps> it's cute i just like as soon as i saw it, so the only anime i've ever seen in my life was castlevania and when this was pitched as castlevania i was like yep yeah, need it need it now i've um, only watched season one but i really want to watch more it's so good and it gets like i i just keep remembering these like shins breaking shins and knees breaking and then bones sticking out during some <laughs> those fight scenes are good <laughs> Castlevania fight scenes, I will say. Wait, oh yes, lavender. I see now. Mm. Yeah, I take that's that. The UK cover. That's the UK cover. I prefer the um US cover. I like the original. The too. Yes, the red and blue. Okay, I'm not mad about it anymore. Oh, <laughs> like Ren actually gives a shit. Good to know I have that in my twelve. Nice. I uh, have to go. Bye, Birdie. Things were coming. You're probably gone by now because I'm behind. I think the vibes are just so enjoyable. So even if it was predictable, it's fun. Yes. Um, yes. And I need, sometimes I need predictable. And this was one of those times. <laughs> Ren equals songbird. Yeah. Yeah, they said that. I love the name Ren too. Um, and that love started from Girls of Paper and Fire, which I love because there's a girl named Ren in there. I'd also like to see, there's a lot of fantasy books that have Ren as the main character though. Yeah, I haven't noticed until now, <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah. I Even also... um, Jade City? Oh my God, no, her name's Wen, Never mind. <laughs> fake fan. I started that book too and put it down for no reason. Um, other than intimidation, but I also like to say, give the girl Inara or whatever so much shit until. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, let's talk about Inara. I was so pissed at that bitch. First of all, wait, did they ever explain why Sonia was so like obedient to no. it? No, she was just following um, Inara. So they never explained why she was just like, okay, I'll get out of here without my whatever my re my bone smith. And it's incompetent, you know, just one of those person. Oh, that's annoying. But um, but yeah, that was fucking just like frustrating. And then when Ren said grandma to like try to sway Svetlana or whatever, um, and then she just like got rejected. I was like, oh no, my kind of grandma are you? Are you my grandmother or not? <laughs> Truly. And then Inara with the, she was ruthless with betting on that. Um, what was her? Was it Night Stalker? No, that was Inara's. Uh, Ghost Bane. Ghost Bane. Oh my God. Wait. Speaking of weapons, when Julian. Oh my God. <laughs> that was cute. And then that line, I wrote down the quote Leave it to her to find the gift of a used weapon, the height of romance. I know. I read that. I was like, me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is bad ass. Um, it's just raw magic. <laughs> I hate that Ravino is just the seductress thing. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna know more. If she were to do like a prequel thing about that part of the story, that'd be cool. Mm. Yeah, like I feel like the corpse queen. I almost said bride. The corpse queen just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, but then I was like, okay, there's a reason. And then, so that's when I was like, that's probably her mom, but I don't know how that makes sense, but I'm going to make it make sense in my head. <laughs> like I want more info. The magic in the well is the power from like the spirit somehow. Why don't I remember this? Well, 
Do they fall it's, into this well? No. Um, her twin brother was like channeling the well's power to fit that like iron armor on the revenant. That's all we know. And then um, Ren also touched the magic a little bit, and that's when she discovered her ghost myth powers. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of when they fell into that like chasm or whatever. Yeah, it's within that part. Oh, yeah, yeah. Expired. <laughs> she really went all out with all the different smiths. Hopefully, some sort of revolution will bring out other smiths. Yeah, because right now, what do we know? We know iron smith, gold smith, ghost smith, bone smith. Silversmith, Coppersmith, Tinsmith. Oh yeah, oh Tinsmith. I don't remember. Yeah, tin, but okay. Did they say how many there were gonna be? No, she didn't say. She didn't give me a number. <laughs> she just said there was many. Yeah, that always stresses me out too. Like in fantasy books, when they have like all the different houses, like ninth house. Oh, I mean, I loved it, but holy shit, I don't, I don't know anything. But I loved it. Gave it five stars. Um, yeah, that house was good. I wonder if the Smiths are going to meet up and be like, we are not going to do the ghost smash. <laughs> Just have like an Avengers moment, you know? <laughs> Just like that, verbatim. We are not going to do the ghost smash. <laughs> and you know more about the wall magic, too, because the dad wants to use the magic, but what the fuck is it? Exactly, yeah. The way I'm just like unfazed. <laughs> okay, well, magic. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Hate that line for some reason it gives me shadow and but shadow what line. Book. Which line? What are we talking about? I can't remember. I'm so behind. Yeah. But I, I don't even like Shadow and Bone. So I don't know what line. I still gotta read that. I bought the box set for like $13. So like the I like the paperbacks with like the deer head and everything. Yeah. They're good covers. I I despise the second book. I haven't read Six of Crows because of it. Oh, I read Six of Crows, but I, not Crooked Kingdom nor Shadow and Bone yet. But I bought the box set and I want to do like a just a vlog spoiler filled maybe of just like a weekend of it all. Maybe spoiler free. I don't know. But I've said that about Hunger Games for like three years now. So <laughs> <laughs> I first thought Ren mentor, Ren's mentor was going to be her mom at first. Oh, oh, deal. Yeah. For seven dollars. Truly like the new cover too, not the. Oh, damn. Yes. The floppy one. Okay. Um, it was like a an indie bookstore. I heard the Poppy War was heartbreaking. I mean, I yeah. love RF Kwong with everything I have. So actually, um, she had a talk here recently. I think it was like a week or two ago. What? For um, Yellowface. Oh my God, she's so intelligent. Oh, you went? Oh yeah, I think I saw that in your story. Yeah, I went. Um, yeah, I went with a couple of online friends. But yeah, she's yeah. so intelligent and so eloquent. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah and she's like young right i think she's like she's my age she's like what 96 what's my age 27 <laughs> oh my gosh she's only a year older than me are you 97 i'm 97 yes yeah i'm 96 yeah uh, yeah 27 going 28 so oh my that's God. her age and she's a phd student too i'm just like what is this what am i doing with my life seriously that makes me feel like shit <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> God, Poppy Wars. I didn't have her books with me, so I made her sign my journal. Oh, cute. God, I want to hear her speak. Did you get a picture with her? No, because it was such a long line, so no one could take pictures. Oh, that's stupid. Um, I do have the hardcover. I got it from Half Price Books. Pretty cheap, like thirteen dollars, I think. Um, but yes, I will probably use the audiobook too. To be honest. Audio looks pretty good. Oh, yeah? Okay, cool. So just prepare yourself for the intensity. I mean, I love my dark, my darkness in books. Author loves parallelisms. <laughs> I just love when Pam uses the sarcastic smiley face with the equal sign. It's the best. <laughs> Everything that happened to Julian also happened to Ren. I I noticed that a little bit. Like, really? I mean, specifically oh. with going back for each other, but... I yeah, I mean, like, um, he got betrayed by his uncle, and she got betrayed by her, her dad. Oh, and they both had m mom issues, right? Yeah, they both have mom issues. And they both have loved ones that died in the war at the same time. <laughs> for a second, for a second, 
I thought they were going to be siblings. But then, I, I was like, please, not this trope again. <laughs> but it was after the kiss already. So I was like, oh, I hope not. I was like, trust in Nikki Pop right now, please. <laughs> so, thank God she didn't do it. <laughs> that first kiss scene was a good one. I was kicking my feet, not gonna lie. I was like, they're just getting naked all the time. <laughs> I know. Okay, yeah. When she just started stripping, I was like, didn't you have meat like yesterday? What do you mean turn around? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, whatever. <laughs> the volume to the crevice, crevasse. Um, overhearing Uncle Deal to learn about the betrayal, someone they know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, these are the parallels. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> other name of the stolen heir. Oh, God. The way I just blocked out that book from my brain. Love Greenbone Saga. It's my fave. Ugh, everyone loves this saga. Jade and Legacy I own it. Book of all time. Really? Jade Legacy? Legacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I own all three. So, like, it's when. Very political. Like, very political. <laughs> it's. <laughs> like this it's a mafia story so the story is the politics of the whole operation so uh, i feel like some people might find it very boring and very dry because who the fuck cares but like i ate shit up it was so good i just but, like, love the character i want to cry as much as everyone else does for no you don't <laughs> <laughs> i do i love when books break my heart i know same um, uh, I'll do it for the characters. I'll try it for the characters. Yeah. Um, I think it might be easier if you just follow along with the audiobook, to be fair. It's a very good audiobook. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And I was gifted all three of them, so I just feel bad all around if I just don't. <laughs> I don't know why Sonia followed Inara. Like, what does Inara have? A exactly. And I think they asked that. Oh, no, that was the fairy loot read-along. <laughs> they asked that <laughs> question there. That was, yeah. Um, yeah. It was a good question. Like we don't know. <laughs> yeah, because like one minute she was next to Ren, and then all of a sudden she's like Inara's bitch. And I'm like, why? What did you do to her? Sonia and Inara basically did everything due to Vance being the mastermind. Yeah. Um, wait, so did Vance tell Sonia to also? Oh, no, I think Vance told Inara, and then I think Inara just continued on with Sonia. Hmm. That's a little. Well, I can't say no to Vance, can we? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have a visual for Vance for what he looked like. Neither. Who was the blonde one with the blue eyes? Is that Leo? Someone no, was. There. Julian. Is that not? Oh no, Julian's dark hair. Julian's Never mind. I, I hope like, it's Julian. Not... It's Julian, right? I hope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Julian. Yeah, it's got to be Julian. Armor. Um, there was someone. It, it's got to be Leo then, right? There was someone that Leo. I think Leo's golden because there was a lot of talk about gold. Oh, his hair and eyes. Hmm. I remember. I think it might be Ren because she does have very silver hair and like white eyes. No, there was a guy that was blonde haired and blue eyed. But I don't know. Whatever. Oh, maybe it's um Leo's cousin. Oh, Galen. Yeah. Wow, My I name. love when I remember names because it it like makes me look like I know what's going on, you know. You're welcome. <laughs> That's how I took it. Okay, yes, so I love the Julian giving her a weapon line. I was like, yes, boy, here's my heart, Pam. I love you. She was such a sweetheart and didn't want to get hurt slash hurt. Yeah, he was a softy for sure. That's definitely my thing. Like boys that look like this, but have but a sweet heart. Yes. Love it. Cinnamon roll. Yeah. It's in the breach when the twin brother was making an iron revenant. Yeah, yeah, the well. Okay, wow. Oh, there is Tree Smith. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were saying, I thought you were saying you hope in the next one there's one that grows trees. No, no, no. Like we see all of them. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like calls to like. I heard Shadow and Bow. Oh. So Crows was so good. I have yet to read Crooked Kingdom. Yeah, Crooked Kingdom's on my 12 Rex project thing. But I think I watched one episode of the show. And it was just I like... Didn't even try. Uh, I don't know. I think I'd rather read it. The Hunger Games trilogy is on... I bought the... <laughs> I bought it, of course. 
um but i got all three of them for like 11 dollars on pango oh, so good. yeah i wish we had pango here i'm so jealous yeah it's dangerous oh, no. it's dangerous but you guys have depop right or like it's barely not- <laughs> I was gonna say it's not very prominent in books, really. It's more clothes, right? Um, only Ren was getting. <laughs> yeah, wait, because I think there was a tease because she turned back and he was like in the blanket without any of his clothes. I'm just like rude. <laughs> <laughs> this damn Julian was so self conscious of his iron arms. Seriously, all I could think about was Elsa. Green book, <laughs> die on this hill. Pam is very passionate. Jade wears my whole purse now. And that's right. What, that's what Fondly does to you. That's Ooh, what she I did like um Untethered Sky a lot. That was really good. Yeah. That was a really good short story. Yes. Um, I was kind of getting annoyed with the author reminding the readers Ren got around when she stripped in front of Julian, like, babe, we can <laughs> Did she really? Reminding readers Ren got around. Oh, like how she was like flirty with other boys and stuff back in school oh i guess i don't remember that either i was it's just... like people seen this it's <laughs> fine <laughs> <laughs> pretty much he was blonde but i forget his eyes okay then maybe yeah. i thought ren was blonde with blue eyes ren has yeah I have white eyes yeah she was blonde there and here ow she was described as silver hair i don't know maybe your toner ran out <laughs> Wait, Jacob has blonde. Jacob, the young guy guarding Leo when he was. Thank you for the parenthetical information. Truly. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know why that line stood out to me though. That someone had blonde hair and blue eyes, but he's I think dead I was... now. Huh? He's dead now. What Jacob. Said. Yeah, and like the captain, remember? Because they killed him. Yeah. I remember. They slit their throats. <laughs> I just remember what's his face stabbing Odile at the end. Vance. Um, this was when Julian's uncle had his whole monologue. And when the captain of the guard was like, Yeah, we don't have Ren. And then the uncle was like, Yep, sure. And then he just killed all of them that was in the room. <sighs> Again, that was like six in the morning, so I was probably half asleep. But and then Julian just broke a whole cabinet because he was so angry. Love that <laughs> cabinet. With his metal hand. With his, I was gonna say with his iron arm. And she knows how to use her charms to get what she wants. Little squiggly lines. I can't. <laughs> Freaking love you, Jan with the Tony voice. Yeah. <laughs> For the tiny voice. Seriously. Y- y'all know what I'm going to say. Say it with me now. Why do I run a book club? <laughs> and, and also to commemorate the moon. <laughs> oh, God. That line's not because that's what you like. No, not even. Actually, I hate blondes. <laughs> I am not attracted to blondes. I've talked about this with Steph on a live show before. Like, blondes are not, especially like light light blondes not attractive dirty blondes maybe possibly but like yeah i'm not a blonde type of gal in terms of guys um but when i was younger i was like aaron carter and jesse mccartney those were my guys but god jesse mccartney what a throwback (laughs) as you're wearing a jonas brothers shirt i know (laughs) no blonde in sight no (laughs) Um, yep, the uncle was seemed like he was gonna be a big boss, but was it for the vibes? <laughs> so funny, Brienne. All right. What else do we have to say? What else do you have to say? What else do I have? I just really had fun. It was good. And I recommend her other trilogy a lot. Yeah. Do you yeah. wait, we already talked about like the recommendations. I'm sure there's queer rep in that as well. Ooh. Yeah, because mm. like the premise of that is just they're like Phoenix Riders, right? There are Phoenix Riders. Um, we've I think we follow multiple characters, but our main character, she um gets a Phoenix egg and she wants to be a Phoenix Rider because of her parents. And then she goes to the school, but then a war breaks out because I think Dragon Rider uh, Dragon 
phoenix riders are basically extinct so they're not allowed to be there so there's yeah. a war that breaks out but there's another element to it as well with the whole sibling thing it's very good they're expired <laughs> don't worry about it i will the world building in that one is actually not too bad because it also has um kind of like mixed media where it's like passages from diaries and history books oh it's like one page or like two pages of that so you learn the world through that instead of just like info dumping like this one which is really really good okay yeah i don't mind that as long as like the whole thing's not in italics because i hate that Unless I it can't is. Remember, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I have the book, so. Um, Inara equals a bitch. Svetlana also a bitch. <laughs> These are my notes. Like correct. <laughs> correct. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think we covered everything. Julian was the heir to House of Iron. Mm. I think for me, like I just want more. Which is also a good thing and also a bad thing. Because it's a good thing that, like, she's making me compelled and, like, wanting to know more about the story. But bad because she is lacking with her character relationships. And just, like, rushing things because it is a duology and not dragging it out. That's just my preferences. Yeah, I mean, for a long book, I feel like we could have found out more than we did. Like, maybe there were a little... I don't know. I don't want to say there were some filler parts because I don't. I didn't really feel that way, or did I? I don't know. I feel like it. It was very plot heavy, instead of <laughs> half half. Yeah, I am a character driven gal, so I haven't read Phoenix anything, so I'm curious. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, neither. But that that was a good one. Okay. They don't talk or anything, but um, they don't what erupt. No, they don't talk. Oh. <laughs> So there's like a uh, mind communication between like the bond, but I can't remember if they talk between the bonds or not. It's not, it's not like, um, fourth fourth way. Way they talk. No. Okay. okay. That was a necessary disclaimer. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we covered everything. The creepy, oh, the creepy part where the revenant was like whispering. In the audiobook, it was even creepier, but like, really alive for now, run like all that stuff. Like, that was creepy. I feel like the audiobook definitely made those parts creepier. That's all I had actually. That had nothing to do with what we were talking about. That was so it'd be cool if um, they made the audiobook like with sound effects and like a whole cast, but that's just going into like TV territory. Might as well just make a TV show. (laughs) Yeah, it was definitely just one narrator, but the accent was good. I think it was done pretty well. It wasn't like monotonous or anything. Um, did you listen to the audio? No, 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 I oh. didn't. I um, I just read normally. Look at you reading fast as fuck. <laughs> I wish there was more pining with Julian and Ren, and more like chapters on Leo to develop him more. Yeah, mm-hmm. same. I think that is why it is a four star for me. To be fair, that if if that had been developed more, it would definitely be a five. I think it was also a four for me because I had such high expectations. Like I thought I was going to be obsessed because like, like Jody loved it. And she was like, I think you'd really like it because of the ghosts and the darkness and whatever. I'm like, yeah, I could see it. And I have the pretty edition. So it's not going to be like annoying to look at. <laughs> like, But yeah, my, I have very surface yeah. <laughs> like standards. <laughs> as you can tell. I do want the fairy loot edition, but I think they're reselling for about, 80 90 bucks oh wow yeah but um, i do have the um bookish box edition okay. oh is that one pretty probably can't remember i i asked my mom to show me show it to me yesterday because it, it's at her house and she showed it to me i'm like well, it's not fairy loot but it's cute <laughs> i guess i could look it up i have this weird thing that, or not this weird thing but like i don't know how i feel about the edges being like like this type of edge where it's the cover you know what i mean like I kind of, I kind of like, like the ones where it's like a pattern or mm-hmm. and color that goes with it, as opposed to just like copy paste. Yeah, I see that. I don't know, but I mean it's cool. Whatever. The writers can't tell when. They... <laughs> oh no, the writers can't tell. <laughs> a pity. Oh, 
God, I can't. I don't want to go into that territory. <laughs> Feels lazy to me unless it's a pattern design that goes from cover to edge. Yeah, exactly. A lot of fairy loot ones have been doing it lately. So, I mean, I canceled mine recently. Once I got Cheeto, because he's a pricey little guy. <laughs> so cute. Thanks. I kicked him out. <laughs> I was oh, no. kicked him out of the bedroom. Um, because he gets he's an attention whore. He's like a stage seven clingy attention whore. Actually, there is a there's a live show on my channel oh. when um my mom first got her her puppy. I was babysitting and I had no choice because he was a puppy. Mm -hmm. So he was just disrupting the live show. It was, I think, the Legends and Lattes live show. Oh. <laughs> he chasing after him. It's great. Yeah. It, this dog has no boundaries. It's hilarious. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I don't mind when he's, like, sleeping. But then, like, when he gets, he, like, I just don't want him to step on my laptop and, like, scratch it. Because I'm like, you don't have a job? You don't have whatever, $1,300 to replace this? <laughs> Leave me alone. Dogs be dogging. <laughs> I like my bookish bought it off of Pango. Ooh, I kind of want I'll look it up after. Um, hello, Kays. We are going to end now. <laughs> Nothing against you. but um, <laughs> Okay, you're here. Okay, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> no, because um, Vish has to go back to work. Oh we're schmirk. <laughs> it's fine. We're about six minutes late. But yeah. thank you so much for joining me on your work day. Oh, and good. Work. It was a pleasure to be here so fun yes i had a lot of fun too we should sprint sometime because we haven't i think we've sprinted once ever together yeah, with the roomies right with a bunch of other people at some point i don't even remember but i'm glad we're not awkward <laughs> everything's grand <laughs> in case um we're joking um thank you for all for all for all thank you all for coming this was very fun as well. Yep, I agree. Um, okay, next month is... What's next month? So Let Them Burn by Camila Cole. And my guest host is going to be Tatiana from Tatiana Vote. Oh, nice. So, yeah, that's that. Successful... Yes, for once. I'm very glad. Once. I know. Go so patrons. For a long book, for real. For <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. Happy full moon. Have a good day, night, whatever. Bye.